Have you ever wondered why you love the way you look in, say, wide leg trousers, but hate the way you look in cropped pants? You love the way your friend looks in them, but it's not for you. Why is that? Maybe you like the way you look in structured pieces, like a leather jacket, but you just can't do frilly things. Others can pull off frilly things really well, but why not you? Maybe you have no idea what looks good on you. That's okay, because in this video, I'm gonna share with you two simple things that will help you understand what looks best on you. By knowing these two things, you can save time figuring out what to wear and save time searching online aimlessly because you will be able to recognize what looks good on you. You'll actually look forward to wearing your outfits because you will know it looks good. And then you can actually build a capsule wardrobe because you will be so clear on what works and be able to get rid of what doesn't. So the two things I'm gonna share. First is something called Kibby ID. This is something every woman should know about. It's gonna help you make sense of why you love or hate the way you look in say A-line dresses or tube tops. You're going to understand which features of yours you want to play up on. And I'm gonna describe that all in more detail and give you action items to run with so you can make the most of this video. And then the second thing we're gonna cover is color seasons. By now, I'm sure you've heard of color seasons, but I gotta tell you, sometimes the process can seem a little more challenging than it needs to be. So we're gonna quickly cover that to make it quite simple. So let's jump right in. In short, Kibby ID is a method that helps you identify your style ID. I think of it like horoscopes. With a horoscope, based on when you were born, what day you were born, you have certain personality characteristics. With Kibby ID, instead of your birth date, it's your shape, your bone structure, how you distribute your weight, your facial features that help you identify what your actual style ID is. All right, so let's make sense of this. What is Kibbe ID? Where does this come from? In a nutshell, a gentleman, Mr. David Kibbe, published a book called Metamorphosis in the 1980s. This book is out of print. I looked for it on eBay and it is going for a pretty penny. Goes to show how valuable this content is. But anyhow, in this book, he details that we we all have a mix of masculine and feminine traits, both on our face and on our body. And by identifying these features of ours, we can identify our ID. And there are a list of Kibbe IDs that range from masculine, feminine, petite, long, so on, so forth. And if you're curious, like I'm a woman, I'm feminine. <laughs> what he means is these traits, feminine being soft and rounded, masculine being more sharp and angular. We all have a mix of this. So even for me, my face, my eyebrows are naturally sharp. Okay, that's more masculine. My nose is a bit rounded that's more feminine. There's this mix of these masculine and feminine traits. On our bodies, you may be a little bit more supple in areas, which is like a feminine trait. You may be more angular in certain areas, which is a masculine trait, but we all have a mix of this. And so the genius of this is based on these mix of traits, you can identify your kind of body type to then identify what looks most flattering and emphasizes that body type of yours. So the Kibbe IDs are romantic, theatrical romantic, dramatic, soft dramatic, flamboyant natural, soft natural, soft classic, dramatic classic, soft gamine, and flamboyant gamine. If you don't know any of this, it means nothing to you right now, but just know there's a variety of Kibbe traits and based on these characteristics you have, it's gonna help identify which you are. Okay, so there are quizzes out there, many of them actually, that are gonna help you be able to identify what Kibbe ID you are. I'm going to link what I think is the most simple. If anybody out there finds an even more simple one, please comment below. But it'll just give you a starting point because there is no official Kibbe ID quiz. David Kibbe never made an official quiz. Instead, the Kibbe ID aficionados have developed them, but it's not a perfect science. But at the very least, it'll give you an idea of what ID you are. That's the whole point. And it's important that you're very honest with these quizzes because you may be pulled to answer in a certain way because you want to be a certain Kibbe ID type and you think you know what that Kibbe ID is. But the more honest you are, the more you're going to get to the root of like what looks best on you, what's most flattering. And that's the whole point here. Okay, second in your Kibbe ID journey is to go down the YouTube rabbit hole. So I'm going to compile a playlist for you to make this extra simple, but by all means, go above and beyond. There are channels dedicated to Kibbe. That's how awesome this is. In these videos, you'll also learn about 
celebrities that may share your Kibi ID, and then you can take inspiration from them as well. So let's cover why this is worth doing. In my journey, I myself identify as a soft dramatic. Following the styling direction of soft dramatic works for me. I love how I dress now and I really feel empowered. I no longer waste time like trying to make something work that is never gonna work for me. So what is soft dramatic? With soft dramatic, the major feature is length. I have a long ass face, I have long ass hands, I'm just long, my limbs are long. My husband says, if we have kids, he's like, I hope they have your length, I'm just long. Do you know that I used to shake men's hands like this because I didn't want to demasculate them because my hands are so long? I'm long, that is my major feature. The second major feature I have, surprisingly enough, is curve. Your girl has sneakers. What are sneakers? Well, the way I dress, you may not know it, but I have pretty large sweater kittens. They are sneaky titties, okay? And I like to keep them under wraps because surprisingly enough, sometimes large breasts aren't the most flattering. If you know, you know. Don't get me wrong, they're fun at times, but you know, I kind of keep them under wraps. It's these two features of mine, the length, and then the curve that really stands out to me as being soft dramatic. So by knowing I'm soft dramatic, I've learned these key fundamentals that work for me and how I dress. So this is one that's kind of uh, counterintuitive, but because I have such length, it's ideal for me to play upon that length. I'm not wearing long sleeve shirts now, but I like how I look in long sleeve blouses and just monochromatic outfits that just extend my length. They play up on that length even more. See how it's long and just emphasizes my length, this one monochromatic color. That's why it works more for me. I think these sleeves are a little too short, but you get the idea. Now it's counterintuitive because I would think if you're extra long, you probably want to balance that out by shortening things, you know, to balance it out. But it actually just enhances and looks so much better when I play up on that length. I love wedges because they're comfortable. I don't care. Some, somebody said they're out of style. I don't care. They're comfortable. Wedges even add greater length to me. Wide leg, long pants, length, length, length. When I do that, it's a statement and it, I just love the way that looks large patterns also work really well. So there's these different fundamentals that you'll learn based on your Kibi ID that are really gonna help you identify what works best for you. Cause you can do what you want. I'm wearing a short sleeve, I don't care. I like this top, okay? I like the color, which we're gonna get into. For the most part, when you're looking at something, you're, you're gonna be quickly able to assess what does or doesn't work for you. So as you'll see in the game plan you have, you'll take your quiz, you'll get a sense of which Kibi ID you are, you're gonna kind of study it to an extent, and then you're gonna be able to, to identify celebrities that have that Kibi ID that you identify with. So fortunately for me, Sofia Vergara is also a soft dramatic and whether it's she or her stylist or a mix of the two, she understands soft dramatic and I really take note from her. She is a soft dramatic celebrity I want to emulate, but then there's certain things that are just not my style. I feel uncomfortable if I feel too exposed. It's like I have some girlfriends that are like, you should wear some more revealing blouses. I just don't feel comfortable with that. We're Works really well for Sophia, doesn't work for me. There's not a perfect formula, everybody's different. You gotta do what you're comfortable with. So as you can see, a major component to finding clothes you love is identifying and understanding your Kibi ID. The second component is determining your color season. So what colors look great on you? Dressing to your season complements your natural features and you can curate your wardrobe with colors that actually flatter you. This is also revolutionary because you know what? Life is too short to be wearing black all the time. When you wear a top that is your color, you feel the difference big time and you can see the difference big time. But also like KBID, don't take this as gospel. Just because you'll identify your color season doesn't mean all those other colors are off limits, do you? So how do you find out your color season? Well, there are apps, of course, I'm gonna link it below, where essentially you take a photo of yourself, you then pair it up with these different color wheels and you can really easily see which colors look best on you. But even ahead of that, if you'd like to, think back to the colors you love on you. That's another great indicator. As you can see, that second component is really straightforward, but man, this is one of those things where it's just transformed how I dress and how I feel about how I dress, implementing some colors. So let's quickly recap and turn this into an action item game plan. So you can walk away from this video being like, all right, ready to go. I'm gonna figure this out. First thing I'd recommend, 
find a friend that you'd want to do this with. Be like, hey, this random girl, Rachel, has this video. Watch it to the end. I think we should do this together. Because having a friend to partner with makes everything so much more fun. Out of all the personal development stuff any of us do, what really moves the needle is the quality of our relationships. I'm learning that more and more. I'm sure I'll make a video on it. Building quality relationships is most worthwhile and most fulfilling. So embark on this with a friend. And you both can set aside some time to dive into this. So take one of the Kibbe IDs, but take it with a grain of salt. Watch the Kibbe ID playlist. I'm going to link for you. Schedule a check-in with each other. Be like, hey, on X date, let's connect on this and like talk through what we learned and which ID we think we are. By that point, you'll have identified what Kibbe ID resonates most with you. Again, don't put too much pressure on finding the right one. I really think if you can even get out of this, like knowing the fundamentals, kind of like what I did, that's all worthwhile. Don't stress over getting it right. Find your color season and take Take a screenshot, save that screenshot into a dedicated album. That way you can easily refer to it when you're shopping. And then based on the celebrities you've identified that also share your Kibbe ID, you can take screenshots and save that to your Mission Dress Well album too. People love Pinterest too. And as great as Pinterest is, I just find I make these boards and I never really look back to them. Whereas with an album, I'm much more inclined to, and it's just all right there. And although these are all really practical tips, really you're going to want to continue you studying Kibbe ID so that it becomes second nature so that when you go and you look at an influencer and they're rocking a great outfit you're going to be able to recognize does that work for me or not and of course keep in mind these things are all just intended to give you direction it may be that there's like a rule with one of the Kibbe IDs you shouldn't wear this or you should wear that or with color seasons you shouldn't wear this you should wear that if you find that you disagree great disagree do you you know, like I have a friend, she's like, oh, one of these apps said she's a certain color season, but one of the colors they dissuade her from wearing, she loves. Who cares? Wear what you love. But this really just helps you hone in. You'll see, you'll see. It's very exciting. KBID specifically has been one of the best things I have learned in the past three or four years of having this channel. And I hope you run with this and ultimately feel better about your shopping process and how you feel in your clothes. We're all so unique and it's just a matter of finding what's best for you. So hopefully what I've shared makes that process a whole lot easier. Thank you so much for watching. Continue hanging out with me and watch some of these other videos YouTube recommends. And uh, yeah, you should also probably subscribe and hit all notifications so you don't miss out on another video. Thank you so much.